Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the backhand, both the two-handed and one-handed backhand. And I want to show you how the racket drop works to add power and consistency to your backhand. And I've got a great technique that will help you get a perfect racket drop and more speed and spin in your backhand today. So as we take the racket back, if I show the stroke from this direction, I'm going to do two-handed followed by one-handed each time. So the racket goes back on a unit turn to varying heights on the backhand, and then the racket drops and we swing through. The same on the one-hander, unit turn, the racket drops, and then we swing through. But the racket drop wants to be very, very late in the movement, otherwise we lose all momentum. So it looks something like this. Wait, down and hit. Wait, down and hit. And that late movement can be very hard to feel. And if you don't feel it, then it's going to be impossible to actually apply into a real life match play or real life rallying. So a great way of getting the feel of this is to span the hand and put the fingers onto the strings. And now I'm going to take the racket back and I'm going to go down and I can feel the racket head. So the ball's coming and now I push the racket down, roll the hands to the handle and make the stroke. Or with the one-hander, I go down and I wait and I can feel the racket head and the left hand places the racket head down and then I make the stroke. The two-hander places the racket head down and then I make the stroke. The one-hander places the racket head down and then I make the stroke. With this method, it's really easy to get the feel of the drop of the racket head in the stroke and it has an added benefit as well because the racket head should be lowered and the backswing should be led by the left hand, both in the two-handed and one-handed backhand. So as I make the stroke, look, the left hand is feeling the drop and I make the stroke. And now, without the hand here, the left hand feels the drop and I make the stroke. In the one-handed backhand, the left hand feels the drop and I make the stroke. And now, the left hand reproduces that feeling, leading the drop and then I make the stroke. I hope this makes sense because it really will add a lot of power to your backhand and it also means that when people hit with power and spin deeply into your backhand, you can send the ball back safely and solidly without feeling weak or having to resort to a slice. There's nothing wrong with a slice backhand, but it shouldn't be because it's the only thing you can do. That should be a strategic choice, not because there's no other option. So try this movement in your backhand. It really will make a difference. Takes a little bit of practice, but not hours, just maybe 30 or 40 repetitions, and you'll get the correct feel of the racket drop by using the left hand on the face of the racket. Let me know how this works on your backhand. You know I like your feedback and I try to reply to every comment. And if you want more help with your game, have a look at what online coaching can do for you. We're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one consultations. For more information on this, have a look at our website or email us for more details. So add the left hand onto the strings of your backhand, feel the drop of the racket, and then reproduce the feel, and you will have more powerful, more stable, and quite simply, a more consistent and better backhand. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.